Hello everyone, this is Otaku Showboat, formerly LP Showboat 0099, and today I am announcing my rebranding. Basically, what this means is uh, I'm changing my name to Otaku Showboat, uh, as you could clearly tell from the way I introduced myself in this particular video. Uh, my reasoning behind this is that uh, the old name, LP Showboat 0099, it is restrictive uh, in terms of only really being able to put Let's Play content on my channel because of the name. Really, that is the primary reason behind the rebranding. I want to make, I want to broaden the types of videos that I can put onto my channel and not have it be confusing. Because when I have LP at the start of my names. Obviously, it's it's short for Let's Play, uh, as much as uh, a number of little girls on Google Plus seem to think otherwise, um, because LPS as an acronym uh, stands for a, it's an acronym for a toy line. I think it's uh, Littlest Pet Shop or something like that. I don't know. It, it's some it's some toy line and. These little girls are just typing in LPS in a search bar in Google Plus, and they're like adding everyone to circles who has who has those three letters in their name. So that's one that that in and of itself is a reason to change my name because I really don't want to have that confusion with a toy line for little girls. Um, and also, I have that 0099 at the end of the name that I really wanted to get rid of because that just that makes the name unnecessarily long and a little bit hard to remember it's like how, how do you how do you say the 0099 I say 0099 but some people might think 99 0 0 99 some people might not know that those are zeros and mistake them as O's just a bit of trivia that those Four numbers in particular are are very. It's a unique set of four numbers that I use for various sites and like forums and anything I need to sign up for. It's usually it started out as Showboat zero zero nine nine. So when I made my YouTube channel, it's like okay, I'll put zero zero nine nine to differentiate myself. The thing is, the LP showboat was already enough to differentiate myself and I didn't even need those numbers anyway so this this rebranding to otaku showboat gets rid of that LP aspect that acronym LPS and it gets rid of those numbers which is excellent and it also allows me to broaden my content to include general gaming content as well as content for other things because of course otaku being a term used in the west uh, an originally japanese term used in the west to refer to people who are obsessive they have obsessive interests so my ideas are that i can now create content that allows me to discuss things like anime or manga or light novels and all of video games. I can continue doing Let's Plays, I can continue basically just doing the content that I've been doing, but I can add more to it. I can do things like reviews, I can do things like podcasts, and I can do things like daily vlogs now. Now that I have changed the name to something that's a bit broader in its uh, terminology. So, with that, I guess I would like to thank you all for watching. This is the end. Um, this is the end of LP Showboat 0099, and it is the beginning of Otaku Showboat. All of the social media is being updated, or has already been updated. My channel itself has been updated. I cannot change the uh, URL directly for my YouTube channel until after I have over 500 subscribers. So just a, about 150 more to go, huzzah, 150 more, and uh, I should be able to actually change the full URL. Uh, for now though, uh, I do have a uh, youtube.com slash C slash uh, Otaku Showboat. I do have that like vanity URL, I'll, I'll call it a vanity URL through Google+, through like verifying websites and all that. 
I do have that, so you can go to youtube.com slash C slash Otakushoba, and it takes you to my channel as a stealth redirect. Um, but if you like click on like the videos link uh, that shows all the videos, you'll see the URL. It changes to youtube.com slash user slash LP Showboat 0099 still, and it's going to be like that for a while until there's over 500 subscribers. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. My Twitter has changed to Otaku Showboat. My Facebook page has changed to Otaku Showboat. I have a new Twitch channel that I made for Otaku Showboat because frankly the Twitch for LP Showboat was never really a thing I used anyway. Uh, and uh, I have a new website, a brand spanking new website. I have essentially just scrapped the old one completely because I haven't even looked at the thing in months and it was likely just filled with malware and stuff by now. Uh, so I made a new one. I used a hosting service called GoDaddy.com and I paid extra for, uh, for like daily malware scans, which is pretty awesome. They had some really good deals for a year's hosting with a free domain, uh, specifically for a WordPress site. So yeah, I went ahead and did that. Uh, the, the URL is just straight up otaku showboat. Dot com. It's just otakushowboat.com is the URL for for the new website. Uh, the old URL for LP Showboat redirects to Otaku Showboat now. So even if you're on my extremely old videos, like the extremely, extremely early old videos, back when I had a website on, uh, gosh, what was it? It was uh, a blogger. Uh, the Google Google Blogger site. I had one of those at first. That redirects to uh, something. I think it's my old uh, uh, another site hosting that I originally had, uh, which then redirects to uh, LP Showboat 0099.com, which then redirects to Otaku Showboat. So no matter what URL you're using from the past that may be like on an annotation or something on an on a really old video, you should still end up at uh, at otokushowboat.com. Uh, right now everything is in a little bit of a state of a flux uh, because I do need new art for all of the things. Uh, I have decided that uh, I want to actually hire someone to do this and uh, I went through Fiverr. Uh, which is a website where you essentially pay in increments of five dollars for certain things uh, which includes things like creating logos creating channel art stuff like that so i found a dude who can do a package for like 45 dollars and uh yeah he is making some art for the logo for the channel and other sites as well as banner images for all the sites it's going to be glorious it it will it will be glorious and uh, that should be done in maybe two weeks it might be up to two weeks uh, the guy has like 12 in the queue before me and it takes like 20 hours for each one or more so yeah it, it'll it'll take a bit of time I'm prepared for that so for now this has been Otaku Showboat and I will see you on the regular videos, which uh, should start uh, being updated within the next week or so to uh, start having introductions as Otaku Showboat or just simply Showboat. I think I just might go with Showboat for the uh, video intros when I'm like, hey, this is Showboat and welcome back to whatever series. So I think that's how I'll start introducing. Yeah, introducing myself from now on. Um, I might just not say the otaku part just to keep things relatively shorthand. Uh, but anyway, again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the regularly scheduled programming. See you all then.